Hello everyone, this is Alpha Larray with Divine Goddess Healing. I am here today to channel a reading for the Divine Feminine. I want to tap into her heart space, um, where she is currently at on her journey. If there is um, any focus of where she needs to go next, um, the next steps on her journey and dive more into that aspect, um, bringing more focus on back to the feminine today. So um, I believe that balance is very important with the current energies of um, the full moon residual energies that are still lingering and dissipating. So as we tap more into self-love and our own power, it's, I think, very, this is a day that should be all about self-love and self-focus for the feminine. And so I'm charging my rose water on my beautiful pink amethyst heart. And um, where I got this, I actually got this from the, um, from Sage Goddess, the Texan, I think the Texan show last year. I think she just may have, um, she was just there this year. And um, I just absolutely love Athena Paracas. She's, she's one of my first spiritual coaches when I kind of, kind of got more into, um, more into the study of holistic healing. I did take, um, some of her courses that really helped advance me. She's just amazing and speaks in such a way that whether you're a beginner or very advanced is very easy to learn through her. And so um, this was one of the pieces I got last year um, from the Texan show. And it is just, it has really transformed the energies in my home and um, created a lot of love because the um, actual combination of my apartment number is five and five is all about transformations and sometimes transformations I mean although are very important and vital for our overall spiritual journey that is what this is all about um, it can depending on how much you have to transform which for me was a lot <laughs> and with the energies of the people that I share my home with um, balancing and tempering the um, very dynamic energies um, into ones of more harmony and balance uh, the, the energies that I got from this piece have really helped transform things in such a very wonderful way um, as we have uncovered blocks and, and uh, moved past different things. So, um, and that is entirely separate from my twin flame connection, but has a lot to do with that as well. So as I transformed my world, um, it has really um, unlocked more portals of divine flow and harmony and manifestation with my twin connection as well. Um, so yeah, so today we are focusing on the feminine. We are having just a, a beautiful self love energy. Um, this is all for you. This is to bring in this love and harmony and inner union for you feminines. So, um, I am going to light some incense that um, 
a very dear spiritual friend of mine. She was actually in, um, uh, oh, I forget, Thailand. She was in Thailand. And, um, she got this wonderful incense for me, different flavors. I want to say that one, I forget what the scent is. It is a floral scent and they're magenta colored. So very feminine colors and the scent is just so soft and pretty. So this is all about really giving to yourself. So feminines, cheers to you. You have come a really long way. I am going to take a sip of my rose water and we can get started on your reading. That is so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for the feminines, what are we going to focus on for you? Although this is more of a reading um, to get you centered more with yourself, um, I do feel called to start with the um, Romance Angels deck. And so all the decks are pre-shuffled. So um, I'm going to go ahead and begin. So what message does spirit have for the feminine right now? <laughs> Perfect. Oh my gosh. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And wasn't this the same exact message that the masculine had for the feminine? Isn't that just kind of crazy? That was in my reading I did yesterday. Um, if you're able to tune in to that reading, that's really interesting that this is the first card that popped up. So um, that's obviously a really important message right now. And that is the energy that I was picking up on when I felt called to do this reading. I wasn't even going to do one today, but I just felt really guided to. So, um, this is your overall message for today. And I apologize for the lighting. Um, it is the natural sunlight. So the cards seem a little bit darker than I thought they would be, but it might just be the time of day and where the sun is hitting. So hopefully that's easy for you guys to see. Um, next, I am going to pull a Nature's Whisper Oracle card for the feminine, an inspiring message for her. Trust your own understanding. So I think as um, you are tapping into more energies of self-love, you are learning to trust your own guidance and um, it's really bringing you into new portals of guides and teachers and ascended masters who um, can just kind of help you clarify your own understanding and if something does not resonate with you um, you definitely have the ability to decipher if something does or not. And so um, this is giving you a lot of self-empowerment and freedom, I see, in this card. So um, this is just really, you are really honing in on your self-empowerment, your truth, your divine guidance. Um, I do believe we as feminines are really beginning to hone more in on our soul work. And I think that's very important for you right now. So um, let me pull a past life oracle card. Spirituality and religion. So um, again, like I said, we're really honing in on our wisdom that we have gained 
in our journey. And it's opening you up to new portals of truth and enlightenment with your heart truth. So um, at this time, it is very important for you to not only love yourself, to trust your inner knowing, but to really get deeply in tune with your spiritual path and your spiritual truth and and where that is guiding you in each moment. Um, let me read this one from the book. I feel called to read this from the book. Oh my gosh, and I literally opened it up right to this page. How crazy. So it says, um, spirituality and religion. Everyone's soul enjoys varied experiences and opportunities. So it's very common for us to explore a number of different religious and spiritual paths as we travel through lifetimes. While spiritual growth and knowledge accumulate during all lifetimes, the specific spiritual or religious paths differ in each one. Perhaps the religion you are raised with doesn't coincide with your true beliefs. This acknowledgement may trigger guilt, fear, or shame, unless you're aware of the bigger picture. Your spiritual knowledge is housed within your soul, and you are an eternal being who is forever connected to divine infinite wisdom. This card asks you to explore alternative spiritual and religious paths. There you will find the inner peace and answers you seek. I totally have chills, like, reading that. I don't know why, because, but I am, like, I had major chills right now. So, um, this is very true for us. Um, I know with my personal journey, I grew up Catholic, and, um, really had a very Christian-based belief as an adolescent. I, I identified as Christian. Um, and I have really, I, I had a lot of really deep um, belief systems ingrained in me in a very unhealthy way through religion. Um, that has actually propelled me into my spiritual journey, my shamanic journey, and my soul path to find more truth. And so um, I think it is very vital for the feminine to really tap into your inner knowing. Because beyond all of these belief systems, there is a unity of consciousness through a heart center. And so as we are tuning in more to our self-knowing and that our heart is our true religion, what our heart speaks to us in each moment is our guide. You are opening up portals of manifestation and more abundance and flow around that greater truth. So, um, let's look here and see if there is some healing work that the feminine needs to focus on right now, um, in her next steps. Um, what is it that you need to work on? Is there something that needs to be released, let go, unblocked? And I actually received this card this morning in the pre-shuffle. So we have... Enlightened heart and mind, complete and move on. So in this card, um, this really resonates with this reading. She is like walking up the stairs. She is following her heart soul path. She has been enlightened. And she is dropping this book, this knowledge that she has gained. And she is moving on to a more freedom-based life um, guided by her soul, her heart truth. So I see this as um, almost a sense of um, 
What's that R.E.M. song, Losing My Religion? That song kind of just popped in my head, like, Losing My Religion. Um, I don't even think I sung that in the right tune. But um, I really love that song. I actually have it somewhere around here. Um, but it, it's almost like losing all those embedded, encoded, ingrained, um, teachings that we grew up learning through other people and maybe even through the church, um, that really created a lot of blocks and, um, confusion in our hearts, where our truth is becoming more and more clear, and we are able to release those bonds, those um, toxic energetic bonds created through religious teachings that maybe were... miscommunicated or, or twisted, um, that were not taught to us in the true intent that those teachings were really meant to. Um, there is a lot of corruption in specific religions, um, things being taken out of context. So, um, I've experienced this myself in my life path regarding religious upbringings, and, um, it can be very dangerous if you are in the, if you can allow someone else to take over the direction of your life path, it can be very harmful for you. So, um, I, I feel, uh, very strongly guided to touch more on this. Um, if there, if you are involved in any type of religious or spiritual groups that, um, seem to create um, anxiety, stress, confusion, or fear, if they are instilling this in you, it is a signal from your body that this is not right for you. Um, in my life, I, um, my adolescence, at a very young age, um, I was involved in a Christian cult, and um, it was, it didn't start out that way, but um, things got very bad, and, and I was in a place where I felt stuck. Um, of course, I had the freedom, but at when you are brainwashed slowly over time, you are energetically bonded, and especially when someone uses a greater power over you, saying that this is, this is God's will, that can be very binding. If you feel that you are going against God, um, that is not God's true nature. His, his energy, his love is light. It's, it's, soft, it's beautiful, it is not loud or heavy. And so um, I just feel really um, guided to, to mention that if, if you are in any type of groups or religious or spiritual um, churches or any type of organization, that is teaching anything to try and get you to 
be more bonded with these people. Um, and it's, and it's putting this weight in your heart or fear, you should leave. This is not your true soul path. Um, so I just really felt guided to say that right now. So, um, it can do a lot more harm than good. And although I am very grateful for all of my lessons I've been through in life, because they have helped me grow. I know that I don't want to see people go through that unnecessarily. And um, so with my path as a teacher, I really want to instill the freedom of really listening to your heart in all moments and trusting your intuition. Um, any teachings that are brought to you from different sources, you have the ability to accept or reject those as your truth. And so you are in the driver's seat. Okay, you have the power, you have the inner wisdom, the inner knowledge, your body knows on a deep level, it's truth. So it's really important to pay attention to that and to break free of any chains that go against that. It is okay to allow other people to believe what they are in the moment believing and to not have to feel like you need to change their views, but know that your soul path is unique always, and you must always follow that truth. You are the light. You are the truth. You are your, your own universe, and you are the center of the universe. As much as anyone has tried to tell you that you are not, that the world doesn't revolve around you, that is total bullshit because the world does revolve around you. Your inner being, your inner state reflects your outer state. When you start to see yourself as separate from everything, then that's what will be drawn into your world. That's what will be mirrored back to you, and it will create more inner separateness, inner separation. When you know your true power as a human being, as a soul, you know that every system that you believe in your heart and your mind creates the re reality around you. And it is so vital for you to live a life based on your truth and what brings you ultimate joy and love. Please understand that. This is all for you. This is all about you. This journey, any journey that we go on, this is for our ultimate happiness, our highest good. So we are bringing ourselves back to center. And I want to do a guardian angels oracle card for you guys. So what message do your angels have for you? What message do they have for you? We have compassion. Dearest one, be compassionate towards yourself. Surrender the self-criticism and fear that has you believing that you need to improve in order to be worthy. You are perfect just as you are. The only thing that needs to change is your negative perceptions. You will come to realize the jewel you are when you love and honor yourself as you are. What a beautiful message. And this is so true. All of these messages really point back to you. 
being compassionate with yourself, trusting your own guidance, trusting the truth in your heart and the power that you possess and being gentle with yourself because you have gone through such a long, hard journey in this life and you deserve to feel loved. You deserve to be loved. You deserve to know you are beautiful inside and out. You deserve to know that you are worth everything that you could ever dream and that you don't have to do a damn thing to get it. That everything that you have gone through and all of the healing work that you have done, it is only to bring you back in touch with yourself and your self-worth and your truth and knowing that whatever is out there that is meant for you, it's coming. It is coming to you. And you don't have to prove anything to deserve it. All you have to do is receive with open arms and love and gratitude. You deserve to be showered with compassion from others. You deserve to receive the help that you need. You deserve to receive guidance and, and anything you need, anything you need. You, you deserve help from your friends. You deserve all of these things. And when you open up to the value of your true worth, you understand that it's okay to receive these things and that you deserve it and that you've worked your ass off to be the person that you are so that you could receive all these things. But the thing is, you didn't have to do anything to be worthy of it. That, that was just karmic past life DNA wounds that were instilled in you in this lifetime that came over from other lifetimes, from your ancestors that were still embedded in your DNA codes. This life, this era, we are resurrecting soul truth. We are releasing all old karma. And we are coming back to the truth that we are worthy just how we are. We are beautiful. We are magnificent. And we are eternal. We are eternal. The more that we can come back to a place of true centeredness and self-love and self-worth, the aging process begins to slow down. Illness begins to heal. That we don't have to accept the path and the outcomes that our ancestors accepted in their lifetimes. We are worth so much more and we can be so much more and we can just be. And isn't it a beautiful place to be? Isn't it so healing? to feel that. You are so powerful. You are a powerhouse. You are a unique combination of energies and lessons and deep, compassionate, unconditional, undying love. Everything that you've been through, every tear you have shed, every Every pain you have felt in your heart, in your veins, in your system, those things are not forgotten. The universe takes note of every sensation. 
in your being. This is a call to enlightenment, of freedom, of our true nature, of coming back to that true place in ourselves to create a new world that revolves around us because we are light beings and all we want to do is share love. All we want to do is give the love that we want to receive. And isn't that such a healing vibration to be able like to exchange on this planet earth with each other you have come so far and there is so much more for you allow yourself to open up to the energetic potential the vortex of true pure white light and love to enter into your body, your being, and your life, and your heart. Allow that to follow you each and every day. Meditate. Come back to that place whenever you need. Because there is nothing that you can't overcome. There is nothing that you can't accomplish. Day by day, step by step, moment by moment you are improving and you have made such a massive transformation in this moment alone. And I hope you understand the value of that and of you. So that was such a powerful message. I just felt really, um, it just came from the heart, honestly. So that was really cool. That was a really cool message. So, oh, wow. We have Door to Romance. That just popped out of the Energy Oracle Cards deck. So as you unlock... The truth in your heart, the love in your heart, you open the door for this love to rush in, to come to you. Remember, feminines, you are the key to love. And when you can be in this place, when you can stay in this high vibrational place, stay focused on it. That's when this love comes into you. It's not when you're in a place of resentment, okay? It's when you're in, when you change your focus to one of just pure gratitude and love. When you can come to it from a place of true centeredness and appreciation. From an authentic place of true appreciation and gratitude. That, that is the fifth dimension. That is the heart space. When you can truly allow everything to be as it is right now, and whatever comes for you is truly meant for you in perfect divine timing, and not focus on the outcome, but know that you're worthy enough to just receive all of these things. Feminines, it is happening. It is coming in. In the perfect divine timing, please just focus on what it feels like to feel good, to feel joyful, to feel worthy, to be happy. That's all you need. That's all you need. I promise you. Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> Door to personal healing and happiness. And then we have happy family. Like, isn't that amazing energy right now? Like, I am literally, my root chakra is, like, tingling. <laughs> like, that is such a powerful, amazing energy. That is so cool. Wow. 
and we have action. So as you can follow your spirit, follow your true heart center feelings and be in the moment and truly just allow yourself to receive from a true feminine energy. You're allowing these things to rush into you. And again, we have action. Drop all fear and just do it. You have the power to create and be whatever you truly want. Look inside your heart and take positive action in those things that bring you closer to achieving your desired goals. Nothing can stop you except your own fears. This card is positive confirmation from God and the angels that the time is right for you to start a new and exciting venture. How freaking cool. So we've got action and we've got action right here. One, seven, adding up to eight. The number eight is all about the completion of karmic cycles. It is all about balance. It is all about eternity, becoming eternal, um, turning what was outside inside turning ashes to gold. Okay, so making something out of nothing. Turning pain into beauty. I feel called to do um, some psychic tarot for the heart oracle cards. This is a powerful reading, guys. Like, this is super cool. I'm just loving this energy. I am just, like, still having chills. This is crazy. This is crazy. Observe. Be the observer. Observe the mirrors that surround you, that come into you. This is what reflects your inner state at all times. And know that you always have the opportunity to change your focus. So if there is um, whatever comes to you, the things that come to you that bring you joy, that bring you peace and clarity and this vitality, focus on that feeling. Focus on those things that, that create those feelings in you. And you will generate, you will manifest and draw in more of those things. Okay, from a place of self-love, of self-worth, of self-truth. So just be the observer. Be the receiver. Stay in your feminine energy. Take action through the spirit by observing and knowing that you are the God of your, your universe and you have the power to accept or reject anything that comes into your life. And know that you can always change your perspective, change your vibration to draw in the exact energies of the manifestations you truly want. Okay. Choose your battles. You have the power, you have the knowledge, the wisdom to be able to face every mirror that comes into your world and know what is worth your energy and what is not. We have control, the number eight again. This is the strength card. You have the strength, the courage. You have gained all of this beautiful energy to your advancement, to your use. You are the magician. You have all the tools you need. You don't need to focus anymore on the pain of the past, but you have the tools 
to propel you into the future with freedom and abundance to follow your heart path always at all times. We have the crown chakra and you see here how her helmet is just kind of like lit up and her third eye is open and even I mean her whole body just radiates but your crown chakra is activated at this time. So you have the wisdom to bring you this vision of this happy family, this, this door to healing. The life that you've always dreamed is right there. It is waiting for you step by step. And all you have to do is really tap into your personal power and truth in order to receive what is coming in. So that's such an awesome reading, guys. I want to finish this reading with a lover's oracle. So we'll just, even though this um, video was all about us today, I do want to finish with one message from your Divine Masculine for you as you leave this portal today with me and go about your day spending it in the way that serves you best. Also, today is actually my Twin Flames birthday. So, um, happy birthday. I, I did tell him happy birthday actually last night because I told him I wanted to be the first one to tell him. So, um, I've been really learning how to lean back and stay in my own feminine, you know, essence, but I, I felt from a heart-centered place last night to reach out and do that. So, um, and I think it made him really happy. So he put like four smiley faces, like with the huge smiles this morning when he got up, he has to get up really early for work in the mornings, like 5.30, 5, 5.30. So I know it was really late when I texted him last night, I figured he'd be asleep. And, um, so I think that just really put him in a really high, positive, good vibe for the day. So when, if you do something for your masculine, even if it's just a kind, you know, word or anything, do it from a place of, of a pure allowance of just sharing your love without expecting anything in return. Okay. Um, I think it is more important for us to put focus on ourselves and to allow our masculines to come to us. But if you do ever feel from a heart-based centeredness to do something for him or to reach out, do it from a place without expectation. Okay. So what does our masculine want us to know for today? What does he want us to know? Wow. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? That is just exactly what I was saying. Give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Wow, congratulations, feminines. You have come such a long way, and it's only up from here, honestly. Like, we are fucking badasses, and I hope you know it. I hope you know how awesome you are, how beautiful you are inside and out. You can achieve anything you put your heart and your desires to, okay? It's all about you. It truly is. And this is the year to make that shift, feminines. So I love you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you resonate with my readings, please like, subscribe, and share. Um, if you would like a personal um, a personalized tarot reading. The link is down below. Um, those are 75. If you'd like a personalized video reading, 
for 125. The link is all also down below, as well as um, a link for my light language healing sessions. So if you would like to do, um, if you would like a healing transmission session for me that is specifically created for your energy, your personal energy and what you need healing on, um, those are 150 and they are incredible. Um, it will, it is an energetic healing. And so when you listen to that light language transmission, your, your soul, your DNA, your body is receiving activations, healing activations. Um, so you will feel really light and positive and really in a just high vibration afterwards. And um, so those are really, really great to have done periodically. And I also do provide on my Etsy shop, um, the link is also posted down below for that if you're interested in purchasing any of my healing artwork um, that I have painted myself, specified to heal specific um, spiritual energetic blocks or issues, um, whatever you are guided to, that is what your soul is needing help with transforming spiritually. So these are very high vibrational and very intense specific energies that I have put into each artwork. And there are also prints available as well. And so um, when you adorn your home, office space or meditation area or altar with this artwork, you are literally opening a portal for very massive healing for whatever your spiritual need is in that moment. So um, I highly recommend doing that or the light language. Um, or if you just want to send a little love donation of 1111, I do have the link below for that as well. So thank you guys so much for joining in. I really hope you enjoyed this reading and that you have an amazing day because this day is all about you guys. Take care. Bye.